So today we're going to try the Thick It Stick It by NYX. Um, let's see what happens. I've seen somebody else use this online and I was like, wow, um, this is only like eight or nine dollars. So I felt safe to kind of just try it out. Um, but let's see how it goes. Um, I'm going to do what I saw the girl do online. Um, this is in taupe. So I've used some NYX brow pencils before. Honestly, I've had better. Okay, this is already a problem. This is already. Um, let me see if I can show you better. Can you even see that? Okay, so it's weird. It's like really clumpy. And the spoolie is pretty big. Like. Let's see if I can compare. Look at like my fingernail compared to the spoolie. I don't know. All right, let's go in. My face is washed. I have toner on. I have um, a little bit of rose hip oil on and um, that's about it. So, okay. You get seven milliliters of product for like $8. I'm just, did, how, did, did I get like a bad batch or something? Like, is this really, it's almost like, there's like little like fibers in it. This doesn't seem right. Okay, so the person in the video said, press down and go up. Press down, go up. I mean, it's chunky, like, this is, so they started off, like, basically fanning up all of their hair. Trust the process, trust the process. They said, let it dry down a little bit. We're gonna trust the process trust the chunky th like this formula right like please tell me that i got a bad one like this can't be the proper formula then she started to like tame the hair and like shape it okay oh f i don't know man I do not feel good about this at all. This is just not good. <sighs> okay, and like, mm. how do we feel so far? Okay, and then she said to wipe. She said to wipe. To clean it off. So you definitely have to use this product before any concealers, foundations, whatever. I feel like a lot of people do their brows first anyways so that you can kind of clean it up with concealer. But I wanted something more natural and easy to just brush on. Because some days I literally can just do brows and mascara and like maybe some like translucent powder. Uh, I mean, like where my brows end and where it's just like the product around my eyebrows. Like it's not giving, it's giving like one of those weird brow stamps. I'm really upset. So just for reference, this is, I don't really know what brand, it's like a groom brow gel and it's like a clear brow gel. Do you see how tiny that spoolie is? Like, I just want to compare the issue we're having. So if someone, if someone has like thinner brows they wanna fill out, why, why would, why? This is ginormous. 
I just feel like it's a really messy application and I don't understand the formula. Maybe it was me, like let me know in the comments, am I the problem? But this is really unflattering. Oh. Okay, now I'm just gonna use, this is just a Revlon Micro Brow Pencil, medium brown. Okay. Just a smaller spoolie. And by the way, I like the shape of my brows. They're just not as full as they used to be. Okay, so I'm lucky that I have a nice natural shape. This is a tiny, tiny, okay. Uh, yeah, looking in the, like I have to fix this side. Ew, I hate the way it feels too. It's really, it's like so chunky and hard like my brows look chunky and weird like did that girl like do something else off camera can you guys stop doing makeup reviews and then you do stuff off camera to fix it and then you're like see it looks great and i'm like well um I hate it. Thank God it was only like $8 or something. Does not look Nash. No, this is not a good makeup review. I already broke my little micro pin. Maybe it is me. Maybe it is me. Okay. And I don't do a lot of makeup stuff on here. I actually am good at makeup. I'll put a photo somewhere to show you like I'm a circus performer. Like I do stage makeup and stuff. I just always use brow pins and just it's just like time consuming and um you know I wanted something quick and easy but I guess I'm just gonna have to commit to drawing in my brows see see what are we doing here guys i'm just gonna have to commit to drawing in my brows because i'm not a fan of just smearing this weird crap thick it and stick it it's it's thick you're right it is it is thick it it's thick and cakey and disgusting and you can see the product like around my actual hair um i hate it <laughs> get this off of me please get this off of me all right i felt really insecure about doing a makeup review and then you guys like not seeing like any type of makeup i can do um i haven't washed my hair but i at least brought my bangs down okay so i don't look too crusty um but i just have on um a little bit of foundation that's Maybelline. I have on like an e.l.f. camo concealer. I have on like an, a Maybelline like liquid contour. It's like a concealer, but it's like the darker one. Um, what else? I have on like one of those Hoola bronzer palettes um, from Benefit. Um, these eyelashes are like really cheap. Like I'm not a huge fan of them, but they're just fun and whatever. Um, I did a little bit of uh, I have like the NYX Epic Ink Eyeliner on. Um, the brow I ended up finalizing everything with was that Revlon Micro Brow Pencil. Girl, this lipstick was from the hair store. I don't even know what, it's not even a real brand. It probably has lead poisoning in it. I don't care. Um, but yeah, I mean, girl, I, I don't care the name, the brand, the price. As long as it works, it works. And um, I think... I'll be nice. If y'all have bushier, thicker brows that you want to tame, use that, stick it, stay it, whatever the hell. I've already thrown it away. I've already thrown it away. It was awful. Um, but for me personally, if you have like really thin, like brows that are just disintegrating off your face, um, definitely just go with like a micro brow pencil and just brush them on yourself with like a very tiny spoolie. And then if you want to finish it off with a clear gel, 
I think that's the way to go. But love you guys. I do live in a van full time. I do a lot more like outdoor woodsy content, but I'm still a circus performer and I also do a lot of like makeup and beauty stuff. And I've been trying to do more of that. So let me know in the comments. Like, let me know like, girl, yes, we want more makeup. I do a lot of like product reviews for like camping and like tech equipment. So I do a little bit of everything. I'm a very weird person. Let me know if you want to see more of this type of stuff.